Okay, next up are artboards, a very important concept in Flare. The artboard is essentially the render area where you are allowed to create new objects. So for example, each of these objects are a child of an artboard. And what makes Flare very powerful, it's ability to create multiple artboards within the same Flare file. The relevance or the use of this becomes clear if you want to create different icons or different animations or different designs within the same Flare file and export that to the same binary. So let's imagine you are creating a icon pack for a mobile application. Instead of creating 10 different files and exporting all of those 10 files and importing all of those 10 files in your mobile application, now what you can do is you can define different artboards or 10 artboards and create your design and animation on each one individually. Then in the final export, you will only be exporting one binary file and then you can reference the relevant artboard within your code or within your final exported application. Additionally, artboards do have other properties that you can set. So for example, you can set the background color. You can also allow clipping of contents. So if clipping of contents are disabled and you move an object outside of its um, area or its window, then it will not be clipped. Re-enabling clipping, you can see that the object disappears. Other things that you can set are fit contents. So this will scale the canvas to fit exactly to all of the objects that are um, children of the artboard. And then you can also customize the size yourself. 